This backpack on my back currently has everything that I could possibly need to shoot corporate video content when I'm traveling around and need to travel light. And this includes everything from shooting interviews, shooting B-roll, lighting a subject and everything in between. And it also includes editing on the fly as well. So in today's video, I'm going to be breaking down everything that's inside this backpack and why ultimately sometimes it's best to travel as light as possible, especially when more equipment isn't viable. Small rig mini softbox, lightweight Manfrotto light stand, DJI RS3 mini gimbal, 150 watt fast charger with USB-C and USB-A, my 14 inch MacBook Pro, two SSD drives for offloading media, my Lumix S52X, the Lumix 18mm f1.8, the Lumix 50mm f1.8, the Sigma 2870 f2.8, the Rode Wireless Pro Audio Kit, Small Rig RC60B Cobb LED light, Edel Chrome Flex Tilt Max, spare batteries, charging cables, an ND filter with a step up ring, and the Nightcore BB2 electric blower. I've really tried to, you know, think quite sort of carefully about what I do and don't bring to shoots because a lot of what I do is uh, involving traveling and most of the time it's involving some public transport. Um, some shoots that I do I can't drive to, which means that I have to get a train or even in some cases a plane and stuff. Um, so being as lightweight as possible has been really important, ultimately for me and also the growth of my business. Um, I know that a lot of people will sort of think, well, you know, this is definitely not enough stuff and don't get me wrong it's not enough stuff for quite a lot of work but for other parts of my job it is definitely more than enough um, in the sense that there's a few shoots that I do where I have to work between multiple locations at a site it could be a factory it could be a client sort of company HQ or something like that and they need me to sort of set up and rip down this setup multiple times throughout a single shoot day I need to get everything all shot and all done so sometimes when it's a one-man band sort of situation it does actually work out to be a lot more agile in this sense um, because realistically in this bag I've got a 2870 f2.8, a 50mm f1.8, um, you know we have a 18mm for the wides and the S52X along with a key light and the support equipment necessary so realistically I should be able to get some decent video content for any brand using this stuff. Um, I do feel like sometimes we get a bit caught up with you know bringing as much equipment and having this amount of grip gear and these lights and that lights and all that sort of stuff but realistically if there's not the time for it and if there's not the budget for it then you have to be realistic and go well this is exactly what I can produce for you in this given time within your budget and that's it and uh, a lot of the time you also realize that clients actually prefer working with someone that's more sort of agile in a sense because it means that you are less expensive since everything takes a lot less time. This includes setup, this includes you know getting the next shot ready, all this sort of stuff. So if you are someone that finds yourself moving around a lot in your shoots, then something like this is really ideal.